Are you well? Yes, Director. I'm fine. Anita, I have to send you home. It's been four or five times that your uncle promised to come and pay for your school fees but he never came. You're going to stay at home until your uncle comes to pay before you come back to school. If your uncle doesn't come, it's better for you to stay at home until he honors his commitments. You're right behind the other students. Normally you have to take your exam this year to go to the first year of elementary school, but now your uncle refuses to pay for your schooling. Since you started school, he's only paid two or three times. I can't tolerate this anymore. You've stayed home several times. All this is the cause of your delay. Normally, you shouldn't be at this level because you are very intelligent. You're going to grab your bag and go home. I understand, Mr. Director. Thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye Anita and Courage. Thank you, Mr. Director. Hello Anita, are you well? You didn't go to school. What are you still looking for this morning? Please uncle, I went to school but I was expelled. The principal said you didn't come to pay the tuition. Uncle Hiller, sorry, I want to go to school. Help me please. Oh well, you want to go to school. When your dad dies, where's the money he saved to pay for your education? Your older brothers bothered me so much as if when your dad died, he told you that he had left money at my house for you. Hilaire, I cannot leave my children to come and take care of you. Your dad didn't have children for me to take care of them. Go fight and give me peace. I struggle to be where I am today. I don't owe it to anyone. It's my own sacrifice. From today on, know that your daddy has done nothing for me. His bank account is not with me and I am not here for you but for my children. Don't ever bother me again. Thank you very much uncle, I listened to everything you said. I took note of everything you said. If dad put all his trust in you to help us, God in giving us life did not count on you and did not expect you to realize our destiny. School or no school, diploma or no diploma, with you or without you, my brothers and I, we will be what God said. We will be who God has written on our lives. Uncle, God does not need you to do with us what he has programmed or planned. God is supreme and sovereign. He is enough. God wanted to associate you with him. It is a grace and an honor that God gives you. But since you refused, you can stay. Goodbye uncle. Have a good day. Look at this, person. What a bad English. We do not say God is sovereignty but sovereign. No matter what. You're worth absolutely nothing. What can you become in this 21st century if you don't go to school? You and your brothers will be absolutely nothing. Uncle, you told a lie. You are a liar. You are going to see what God is going to do for us. Look at that person. Leave my house directly. Be careful if I see you again in my home. Goodbye, Uncle. Get out of my sight. My darling, why are you doing this? You promised me last time that you would pay Anita's school fees, so you didn't do it. My dear, I won't do anything to any of them. I am what I am today without anyone's help. I managed on my own. They just have to go and struggle to become what God intended them to be. Don't let anyone bother me. I am not the one who killed their dad. And besides, their dad also worked, right? Where did he put his money? Hilaire. It's you who talks like that. Honey, I didn't know you were so ungrateful and selfish. If you are what you are today, it's only thanks to your big brother. You forgot a lot of things. Let me refresh your memory. Honey, your brother didn't have a lot of money, but he sacrificed himself so that you could study in Europe. He gave himself for you to succeed. It's because of you that the bank sees the house he built and lived in. He didn't think about his children but he gave himself for your success and your success. Now that he is no more, you have turned your back on his wife and children. Hilaire, what you are doing is very wrong. If one day you saw God raising his children, what would you do? Look at the condition your sister-in-law is in. It's because of you that they lost their house and are living in this situation. You can't help him. That's very mean of you. What are you saying? How will they be raised? They didn't go to school. They have no diploma, no intellectual knowledge. All illiterate. What can they become? You know, 
I didn't ask my big brother to help me. He himself was the one who acted as guarantor to help me. If his children are suffering today, that's not my problem. I can't leave my children or my family to take care of someone else's children. My dear, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I can't do anything about it. I'm going to work. See you later my darling. See you later. Have a very good day. What Lair is doing is not good at all. He refuses to help his big brother's children, even father and mother. I cannot believe it. If he is today, what he is, he owes it to his brother. He is a very kind and humble person. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't even have money to help them. Their mother is also not in good health, due to the tragic death of her husband, and the loss of their home due to the loan the husband took out to help Hiller, my husband, with his studies. Really, what can I do? I only have $10,000 in savings. I'm going to give $8,000 to my brother-in-law's wife so she can solve some problems with it. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will go see her. Lord, what am I going to tell you? I got kicked out of school again. My uncle refused to pay the school money as he also did for my brothers. Look at my age. It is because of these difficulties that I am in this class at a very old age. Today, my brothers are on an agricultural farm and work there just for a few pennies. Lord, before I was born, you made a plan for my life. Before I came to this earth, you knew that I would not be able to go to school because of the death of my dad, the state of health of my mom and my uncle who will refuse to help us, because you know all thing. God, you know everything. God, school or no school, diploma or no diploma, I will succeed. I am going to become an influential woman, a businesswoman. God, you know why. Because no circumstance, no problem can prevent you from carrying out your plan in my life. School and diplomas cannot be an obstacle for you, nor for realizing your plans in my life. I'm going to become a great lady one day. People will see it. Dad always called me a family legend. Because of what you have done in my life, my dad's family will be known through me. People will say say the family of Anita the great businesswoman. It is in the name of Jesus that I say. Amen. No matter the situations, the obstacles, the challenges that arise along the way, I will be what you have spoken and written about me. O oh God, I rely on you almighty God, not on me. Thank you God my father. Hello mom, you're here. Are you doing well? Hello Anita my daughter, I am here. I am very well. Why did you come back so soon? You didn't go to school. Mom, I went to school. You know I like school, but it's a shame my tuition wasn't paid. Uncle promised several times to pay for the school fees, but he never kept his word. Either way, it doesn't matter. God is in control of everything. Mom, please, don't make this a problem. God knew all this was going to happen and he has planned a way out for a long time so let's trust God. I can't believe Hilaire had the courage to abandon her big brother's children. He refused to help you. It doesn't matter, I leave it to God. If your dad had listened to me, we wouldn't be here. Today he left and left us all alone. Your dad took all his money to take care of his little brother Hilaire's studies. He even took out a loan from the bank so that he could continue his studies in Europe. He was unable to repay the loan before his death. Now the only house he built was seized because of this unpaid loan. If we live here today, it is because of this situation. I spoke to Leandre your dad, but he didn't listen to me. Each time, he says that it's family, it's his little brother and that there are only two of them. He said if Hilaire succeeds, he can never abandon you. Here are the results. My darling mom, it's okay. It's going to be okay, don't think about all these things to hurt yourself anymore. You know that you are not well and that the doctor has forbidden you stress, anguish and anxiety. It is time to look for solutions and not to rethink or dredge up everything that happened. Leave everything to God. Mom, we've put enough trust in Uncle Hiller, now that's enough. Stop. Let's look to God. God will send us help from elsewhere. Okay, I understand my darling daughter. Thanks for the advice. What are you going to do now? 
Mom, I'm not going to go to school anymore. I'll find the job. I'm going to do look for a maid work for people. Oh Lord, none of my children are intellectuals. They did not receive any diplomas. None of them really went to school. Your brothers only did the second year of middle school and you stopped at the second year of elementary school at the age of 17. All this because of my state of health. I am educated as is your dad, but our children did not go to school. Mom, if I didn't go to much school, and if I don't have any diplomas, I'm going to become what God said about me. School, diplomas, problems will not be able to prevent God from carrying out what he said and wrote about me before I was born. Me, Anita, I will succeed. I am going to become a great lady, a woman of great fame. School or no school, educated or not educated, diploma or no diploma, I am going to become Anita the great lady. Wait, you'll see. Don't worry, my darling daughter, I trust in God. I put everything in his hands. He knows everything. Nothing is hidden from him. I abandon myself completely in his hands. Mom, let's put all our trust in God. My darling daughter, we say let's put all our trust in God or let's trust in God. Thank you mom, let's trust in God. He is going to do it. My daughter, it's a pleasure for me. I love you a lot darling. I love you too mom. Your brothers sent us $500. They don't have enough money this month. I also have to buy my products which are almost finished. I do not know how to do. Mom, God is in control. If God uses my big brothers Gilbert and Martin every time to help us and this month they have no money, it means that God has prepared in advance someone else to help us this month. So let's not panic, God is our father. If men who are so wicked take care of their children, will God who is love and almighty abandon his children? God is never surprised by an event. Before the foundation of the world, he knew that this month, it is not Gilbert and Martin who will use it to bless us, but he has prepared someone else and we therefore trust in him because it is his that we depend on. Let us pray that whoever God has sent will obey the voice of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's not possible my daughter, I'm very proud of you. This is the prophetess Anita or the teacher Anita. I love you my daughter. Mom, whatever you want. I love you too. During the week, I will go look for work. Mom, I'm going to the room. Okay, see you later my daughter. Hello big sister Elisa, how are you? And your health? Hello my sister Ruth, I am well by the grace of God. I give glory to God. My health is getting better and better. And you, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. I have some errands to run this morning, but I thought I'd stop by and say hi before I leave. You know Elisa, since your husband died and you had all these difficulties, I haven't done anything to help you. Today I brought you $8,000 so you can pay for your products, rent, and necessary needs. It's not much compared to the situations you go through with the children, but it might help you a little. Really, it's not at all easy but courage to you and the children. Ruth, thank you very much. May God bless and reward you a hundredfold. I lack words to thank you enough. May God make you beyond your expectations. Thanks Elisa, where Anita? I sent her. Ruth, you still refuse to give your life to Jesus. My sister were your soul after your death. I love you that's why I tell you this every day and I never stop praying for you. We all have a specific time to live on this earth, but after death, it's a whole eternity. My sister, the Bible says in Hebrews 9 verse 27, and as it is appointed for men once to die, after death comes judgment. It is the choice you make on this earth or during your lifetime that will determine the place where you will spend your eternity. If you choose Jesus, you will go to where Jesus lives which is paradise, the kingdom of heaven. But if you choose Satan, you will go to where Satan will dwell, which is hell. There are only two places, heaven and hell. There is no purgatory, 
a place where we go to purify ourselves after death. My dear, people say that hell doesn't exist. Others say that God is too good and that it is impossible for him to send people to hell. Indeed, God is very good and he does not send anyone to hell, but it is we ourselves who send ourselves to hell because of the choice we make. No one can reject Jesus while alive and expect to be with him after his death. God does not force us, but he suggests and advises us. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Choose the life so that you live. The Bible states in John 14 verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is life and whoever chooses him will live. It is your choice that you make and the life that you have led on this earth which will determine the place of your residence after your death. No one can corrupt God. God is just, so no prayer or mass, no matter who said it, no matter how many were said, will be able to save your soul. No act of charity, whatever the billions spent, will save any soul. It is Jesus alone who is the way and no one can go to the Father without going through him. The Bible says in Mark 8 verse 36, What profit is it to a man if he gains all the world, if he loses his own soul? My darling, what will it profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Life is not yours. If God comes for you today, where will your soul go? My darling sister, think seriously about what I told you this morning. It's for your happiness. Ruth, I love you and I want to see you in eternal joy. Sister, I really listened to what you told me today. I'm seriously going to think about it, because I was really touched by everything you said. Elisa, I will give my life to Jesus. Thank you very much, goodbye and courage. Goodbye Ruth, thank you for everything. God bless you. Mom, you're here. I'm back. Welcome. You were able to find what I ordered for you. Yes, Mom, I left this in the kitchen. Your Uncle Hilaire's wife was here. She came to greet me. She just left. She gave me $8,000 to buy my products, pay the rent and other necessities. Oh well, God bless her. God sometimes comes by the way we don't hope for at all. May all the glory go to God. Truly praise God, my daughter. He surprised us. I'm going to send $1,500 to your brothers because they need money too. I'll also give you $500 too. That's good, Mom. Thank you so much, Mom. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. I'm coming with you too. I'm hungry too. Let's go. Lord, I would like to thank you and bless you for all your benefits. Thank you for watching over Mom my brothers and me last night. Thank you for all the fights you fought for us. Thank you for this new day. Protect us Lord in Jesus name, Amen. Lord help me find work. Touch hearts so that I may be hired in the name of Jesus, Amen. Hello sir. Hello miss, you are well. What would you like? I'm fine sir. Please, I'm looking for work. Do you want a cleaner? I will do the work for you. No miss, we already have a cleaner. I'm sorry I can't hire you. It's okay sir. Thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye miss and above all courage. Thank you sir. Hello miss, how are you? I am doing very well by the grace of God. What do you want please? Please ma'am, I am looking for maintenance lady job. I would have liked to hire you but it's impossible, because I just hired someone this morning. I'm sorry. Ma'am, it doesn't matter. It was not for me. I give all my confidence in God. It's going to be okay, courage to you. Thanks a lot madam. Bye. Goodbye, young lady. Lord, I would like to say thank you for the day. Thank you for protecting me. I know you're going to give me work. You kept it for me somewhere. When I go back again to look for work, you're going to give it to me. Thank you very much dad in Jesus name. Amen. I am very tired. 
It's not easy but God is great. You are the father of all those who have no one. I give you my trust, father. Good evening my darling mom, how are you? You had a good day? Good evening my darling daughter, I am well. I give all the glory to God. I had a very nice day. And you, how are you doing? Were you able to find work? Mom, I'm doing great. I didn't find work today. But I know it's going to be okay. God is great. I am very tired. I walk a lot. I'm hungry too. Take courage, my darling daughter. It's going to be okay. God is in control. He will give you work. You are going to go wash and you are going to come eat. I saved some rice for you. Okay mom, I understand. I know God will give me a good job. Mom, I'm going to go wash. See you later. See you later my darling. Brothers and sisters part 2 of this series coming. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.